What's up everybody? Eric Johnson, Air Tate Throws Nation, and we are gonna dive into a couple more YouTube videos. We're gonna cover rhythm. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson. <clears throat> Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, what we're going to discuss is rhythm. Rhythm is one of those things that is kind of discussed and coached and talked about, but what exactly is it, and why is it so important? Let me tell you why it's so important. Rhythm is key because it's about how you sequence and move and connect positions. So rhythm isn't something that you just kind of talk about in, in terms of, I'm gonna get into my rhythm. Rhythm is actually something that you train and you understand that certain positions create certain reactions. So that's what we're totally focused on. So we have to set up positions that create certain reactions and there's a flow to that and that's what's so critical and that's what we're going to discuss in this video. So rhythm is one of the things that we want to do is as we go into the fall one of the things that we like to do in our program is we focus on our pillar drills. So we're focusing on everything through pillar six. There are six pillars of the throwing chain reaction. So in case you don't understand that let me explain them to you real fast. So in the rotational throws what we have our six pillars. We have our pillar one and that's how we're setting up key positions and we're creating our trigger to the whole throw and that's going to be occurring in pillar one. Pillar two is where we're trying to set up power. We're working on, again, a whole bunch of mechanical positions, and then we focus on pillar three. So when we come out of here and we come in here, we're creating that drop in and applying speed. That's our pillar three. So we are setting up how are we going to attack and enter into the throw. So those first three pillars, we're really, they all have a flow to them. Now, we call what we call is pillar four. We call it an axis transition, so because we're moving from our sprint leg axis to our delivery leg axis and that's that time where both feet are off the ground and a simplified version of pillar four is called the twist and wrap. So we're going to be setting up, setting up that axis and creating that tension. Once we hit here, we're talking about pillar five. So pillar five is where we, we say we lock down power, working on getting down in pillar five so we can work the ground and generate more force and then notice that motion from here to here. Now we're going to be working in to our pillar six delivery. We want to smash the crap out of the throat. So here's why rhythm is so important. When we work on drills, I can show you a drill and I we have a drill called drill down, right? We talked about this in a YouTube video where we're here. Well, how does that flow? Well, I can just turn like this or I can turn like this and there's a different rhythm to those two motions and that's why rhythm is so important understanding how a drill is supposed to flow right rhythm is actually in some of the more scientific terms we're looking about kinematics it's the motion of the throw and there and there's a timing right from where this foot is you know when you come out of the back of the circle this is again our pillar two double support when we're here how long are we here before the, does it take for this right foot to come down from there to where does this left foot timing to come down at the front of the circle. That's the kinematics, that's measurable. There's specific times, if it's too long, that's a bad thing. If it's too early, that's a bad thing. Again, there's a window and that's yet another concept we talk about in our program, which we'll talk about at another time. But one of the things that we're talking about today, again, is understanding the key to rhythm, putting your flow and your movements together the way they're supposed to look in the throw. There's a lot of drills every, every week. I kind of go on there and I see people doing different things and, and it's fine to be mechanical and work some certain drills like we work a drill called a rollover and this is for our power position it's a really simple drill and we're just trying to teach a thrower how to create that bounce point set the angle and then how we're going to be doing we also refer in our system as a, an elevator drop how we're moving that angle straight down to create the most dynamic delivery side axis now the point of that is i can do this drill and if i'm bending and moving and I'm doing everything segmented, I have poor rhythm. We want to have every movement needs to be fluid, especially in our rotational throws and even in our glide shot. One of the things we're doing is we're, we're looking at that timing of how we're coming out of certain positions and how we drive into our power position. And if I'm more bent and I'm doing things and I'm seeing more of this type of a movement, the rhythm is off. So as you come in and you, you go into training and a lot of times people think ah this stuff like, give me the give me the 
give me the juice. Give me the real good drills that are gonna really make the big difference. I wanna see drills, I wanna know how to throw, blah, blah, blah. What I'm telling you is this is details. I mentioned in one of my last videos, details, details. Did I mention it's all about details? So here's the key thing. Rhythm is one of those details. So important, flow. What I'm talking about, we've, we've kicked off when we kick off our fall and our off season or any time during the season, we're always conscious of how we connect and how the movement works, the rhythm, the flow of the throw. That's the whole key. So remember, Sometimes when you start thinking about five different things, which is the recipe for disaster, you have to start to go back and simplify and do the things that create natural movement. The quote unquote naturals, right? The kids that pick up the throw faster and easier are the ones who kind of naturally have that more fluid type of movement. And then they have to learn how to hone that and learn mechanically. But those are the ones that as they're learning mechanically, they tend to just connect and they have that that smoother type of movement and that's what's so key so one of the things that you want to focus on is rhythm and so this fall or if whether it's the off season the preseason or your in season or championship season rhythm the little focus there's little variables and how it changes but the key is you have to always include that in your training again we want to talk about key details seems simple but again with the flow and one of the best tips I can give you is that we use in our system extensively is continuous movement zero hesitation zero pauses fluid and constant movement once you start all the way through the finish really really important so at any rate I hope you dig this video again if you like this video like comment subscribe and by subscribe I want to hear what kind of stuff you guys want to see what are you looking for as we create more videos We've got a ton of stuff laid out for you thanks so much again for watching and we will see you on the next video